When we think of army helicopters, we tend to think of soldiers being shipped about on the battlefields in the theatre of war, or the transportation of aid to famine-stricken countries. But we don't think about what happens to these mechanical beasts once their time is done. The forward-thinking boys and girls of Bobster Key Diving, based in the rolling Mendips of Somerset, have come up with a simple and recyclable idea of taking the stripped carcass of an ex-military Westlands WS-61 Sea King and using it as a scuba diving attraction at their diving quarry situated in Upper Vobster. Once the helicopter was depolluted and stripped of pretty much all its workings, it was elegantly transported from Gosport in Hampshire to its new home in Somerset by the team at AJ Haulage. On arrival, there were initial concerns that the load may not be able to traverse the route down the drive due to the gradient. However, it managed to scrape down in the final few metres. The teams from 22 and 26 Royal Engineer Regiments then took to the prepping stage with gusto. By ensuring that the lifting points have been prepped, secured and checked, then more inspection of the internals for any other removable items that had been missed. Bob's the key manager Tim Clements, however, seemed a little confused as he thought he was making an airfix kit. I've here the instructions. It says here, remove all parts from packaging and insert rotor A into engine B. It was then time to lift the beast into its final resting place overseen by Riley's cranes into its 24 metres of water at the bottom of the quarry. It took just 25 minutes for the Royal Engineer dive teams to receive the machine into the water, inflate the airbags and float the helicopter out to the marker buoy allocated for it. The Westland WS61 was first made under British licence for the American design Sikorsky S61 in 1969, making it 48 years old. Some 344 machines were built and then finally stopped production in 1995. In British service, the Westland Sea King has provided a wide range of services in both the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force, as well as wartime roles in the Falklands War, the Gulf War, the Balkans conflict, the Iraq War and the Afghanistan War. The Sea King is perhaps most well known in its capacity as a Royal Navy search and rescue helicopter with its distinctive red and grey livery, as well as the RAF Search and Rescue Force with its yellow livery that the public are most familiar with. This unit will now provide recreational scuba divers and freedivers an underwater vista to behold.